Hello everybody, my name is Zero Damaro and welcome back to Superior Rimworld. So, we are in the colony of Demon Reach. And we almost have our first building, which or our first uh, construction area that we're going to use for storing stones and such. Complete. I still haven't actually done that research I said I was going to do on in terms of uh, you know finding out what is safe as far as uh, tunneling out an area goes. I know I knew at one point, but it's been a while since I've actually played this game. But what I am going to do is I'm going to let them finish that. I'm going to cancel that for now. Uh, and then I'm going to let them dig this out, and this will be our food storage area, as well as our food prep area, because we're going to need one of those fairly soon. Alright, so you can go ahead and start digging that out. You can haul this out of here, because this is going to be for wood. So we want production, we want the handsaw mill, and we actually want a couple of these. And actually, if I'm going to go with a couple of them, and what I should have done... Actually, what? We can put it like that, and like that. And then we're going to go order, or zones and areas, stockpile. Like so. And this is going to be for wood. Wooden log. There it is. Alright, so they're digging that out quite quickly. And this is going to be... Oops. We have a mad animal. It's a wild boar. I'm not too worried about that. This is going to be the preferred stockpile for wood. Alright, where is the boar? Is a boar over here? Oh, there it is. It's attacking Lee. Where's Lee? Lee's like the one person who can't defend herself right now. Alright, so Lee, you come back over here. Rad, you're gonna go here. Now, this might be a little bit overkill for a boar, but in the same breath, we can't afford any injuries right now. And take another step forward, please. Alright. Perfect. Uh, everybody on recruit. We're going to unforbid him. And he should be still be fresh enough. Yeah, he spoils in five days. So he'll be fresh enough in five days for us to, uh, you know, chop into little pieces and turn into beef jerky. Oh, we had some cargo pods come down nearby. What do we got? Venison. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, let's bump the speed up back up to three. Everybody's taking a nap right now, which is perfectly fine. We're also going to want to get some doors on this stuff. Just to mark all this as indoors so that we can store stuff in here without it degrading on us. Not to mention when they eventually start sleeping in here. You know, we're going to want to make sure that they view it as an indoor area. Come on, guys. Time to wake up. Let's get some work done. So I'm going to unforbid all the silver as well. We can get that moved down into here. Uh, silver. Yep, it's already being stored. Perfect. Low food. That's actually fine. Our potatoes should be done... A couple of days, anyway. Once we get this done, we can start making some beef jerky. Oh, we have some more cargo pods. Human meat. Really? Well, we're not going to eat it, but... I will bring it inside so that... I don't know. We won't even have a chance to sell it. That's kind of shitty of you there, game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, we have a wanderer. Mortis. What do you like? Really good at melee. Really good at cooking. Wow. Really, really good at cooking. So we found our new cook. Sorry, Em. Uh, definitely going to be a melee character. She's got a knife. She's got body armor, which is super helpful. It's not very good, but she's got it. She's bringing some money with her. Traits. Lazy, brawler, and nervous. Incapable of dumb label, caring, social, and cleaning. Oh. I don't like you very much, actually. I kind of wish you would go away. Alright, well, we have a freaking empty mouth to feed. Dumb labor. Does that mean she can't haul? That means she cannot haul. Son of a... Alright. Firefight, yes. Patient, yes. Flick to two. Cooking. Yeah, you're better than M, so... At least, you, at least you have that going for you. Maybe we can send you out hunting or something. But for right now, no. Because you're a melee type person, so... Yeah. Construct and repair. So we'll get you doing that. 
Growing, eh, you might as well help. Mining, might as well help. You can't cut plants. You can help craft, though, so there's that, I guess. Still, not super happy with this character, I won't lie. Alright, a little bit more to dig out here, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, I should get her a, a bed over here. So let's go ahead and go furniture, sleeping spot, and she can sleep on top of the berries. I'm not going to worry about getting them to move stuff. What are you doing? Oh, you're hauling stuff. Oh, you're building. Perfect. Or you were. Wow. <laughs> you lazy bitch. There you go. Alright, so this is all going to be marked as indoors now, which is good. At least she's helping get getting some stuff done, I guess. We're going to have a lot of construction work to do in the next little while, so... It's not like she'll be completely useless. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be building a cook stove here in a moment. You're cloud watching. Alright. In fact, let's get a another door here. And then I want to build... A food prep table. And a simple grill. Alright, so we have our handsaw mills. Then we're going to add bills to make planks. And we want to do until we have about 250 of these to start with. Yep, do until you have. And for right now, just don't travel too far for it. I don't want them traveling all over, all over Hell's Half Acre to pick up wood. Alright, do until you have 250. Bring down the ingredient search radius. Do about that. Alright. And I should probably put a little stockpile in here so that they don't have to, like, run their creation away every single time. So let's go zone and area, stockpile. Actually, hold on. If I go back into the bills here, I think I saw something. Uh, drop on floor. Yeah, just do that. We can let other people haul it away. Alright, carrying on. So there's our simple grill, and we will soon have a food prep table. I want to haul all this away, as well as this. Uh, okay. So now that this is built, we're going to go ahead and add a bill to butcher creatures, and we're going to do this forever. And we want another bill to cook a simple salad. We won't be able to do this right away, but I want to have it in place for once we we can. Whoops. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. Do until you have... How many do we have so far? Five? Yeah. So we have five people, so we want 15 meals. Three meals a day for five people, etc., etc. All right. And that'll be good once our potatoes are ready to eat, which they should be before too much longer. So now that we're crafting up some wooden planks, we are going to want to go ahead and dig out another area. And you know what? This hallway is going to kind of lead to our crafting areas, I think. We're going to go... I want to make it a little bigger this time, now that I've kind of decided how I want this to look. So we're going to go like this, and then it can come in like that. There. There. And we'll just wait for them to be able to get to that. Everybody's sleeping at the moment, which is fine. So our next area is going to be for our craftsman's tables. And that's going to be for handling stones and such. And then after that, we'll be able to start making a metalsmithing furnace. Alright, so M is making up a whole us up a whole bunch of wooden planks, which is nice to see. Let's go ahead and mark these rocks as being for hauling. Mortise is in a poor mood. Why are you in a poor mood, Mortise? Uh, slept in the cold. Oh, she's naked, that's why. Well, there's not much we can do about that, I'm afraid. Uh, we should probably mark one of these to be hunted so that we can start turning them into food. And we need to move our food stockpile down to here as well. That's true. Let's go orders. Uh, what do I want? No, not orders. Zones. Stockpile. 
This is going to be storage, clear all, allow food, and I want hops in here as well, because we're going to eventually set this up to do that. Not that that's going to be important right now, and this is going to be preferred. There we go. So that'll give us something to butcher and some more food. Oh yeah, now that we have this as well, we also want to set up Advil Cook Jerky, and we want to just do this forever, for now. Eventually, we, we will want to change that around so that we're not keeping so much jerky around. But uh, for the time being, we need as much as we can get. Because we don't have any kind of refrigeration technology. And without it, like, jerky lasts for 30 days. Whereas, you know, regular meat only lasts for three. That and we can't even cook anything with regular meat other than jerky right now. So, it all works out. Alright, M, why are you in a bad mood? Joy. Joy deprived. Slept on ground. Feeling bad, sharing a bedroom, ate off the ground. It's actually something I should maybe set up for them here shortly. All right, we have we still have our medicine over there, and I'd like to get that moved back over fairly soon. This is almost done, though. That's really nice to see. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start working with it right away, and they can just kind of finish it as they go. This is going to be the place for stone stone blocks and stuff. So chunks, stone chunks. And this is going to be preferred. All right. Looks like one of the critters got to one of our potato plants, and that can happen. Uh, I think that's something else that um, Superior Crafting adds, is that, like, if you have these unfenced, which fencing is a technology we'll research later, then, um, you know, animals can get in here and eat your food and eat your crops. All right, why are you so stressed out? Oh, yeah. Once again, naked. Again, not much I can do for you guys. At least not yet. At least she's, her mood's going up, though. Oh, you know what I should build for them? Build them a horseshoe. A horseshoe pin. I mean, might as well, right? Alright, oh, come on. There's one more little thing to do. There you go. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and build another one of these. Oh, that's metal. Craftsman's table. And what we want to do here is add a bill to make stone blocks. And we just... What do we have for stone blocks right now? We have slate. Is that all we have is slate? Slate, slate. Sandstone. We have slate and sandstone. So I think I'm just going to start with a slate for now, because that seems to be what we're digging into. So we'll actually set this up. Oops. Set this up so that it's only taking slate chunks. And set this up so that it only uses slate chunks. So no sandstone, no granite, no limestone, slate yes, marble no. And we want to do until we have about 200 or so. Ingredient search, rate, search radius goes out to about there. We also want to add a bill to make some sand. We don't want a lot of this. Probably about 25 or so. But that's what we need for sandbags. And again, we'll bring this down to about there. I wish I could just, like, copy this and move it onto another table, but... No luck there, I'm afraid. Production, we want... Didn't I tell them to build another? Oh, we don't have enough logs stored. That's right, because we turned a bunch... Oh, wait, hold on. I can just do this, though. Can't I? Can I not tell them to make this out of planks? Guess not. All right, well, that's fine. We have some visitors. We have no trading capacity, and that's fine. I'm going to actually go ahead and get another area down here built. About the same size. So it's going to be 7 by 6. And that's going to be our metalworking shop. Uh, how's everybody doing mood-wise? Much better. That's good to see. Yeah, yeah, they're playing horseshoes, which is much, a much funner, much more fun way to pass the time than, you know, staring at the clouds. All right, so I'm going to want to mark all these for hauling so we get them out of the way. These ones will actually be right where they need to be once I set up the stockpile properly. 
Uh, mark that to be hauled. We have a raid. A group of pirates from the bomb donkeys have dropped right on top of us. Uh-oh. And Lee is outside. That's not good. Run away. M, I need you to... Where are they landing? Right in here, I think. M, I want you to move there. Mortise, I want you to move back here by M to support her, just in case she comes under attack. Where are the other two? Red and Rad, I want you guys waiting inside, and we can respond with you, you know, from there. Oh, okay, it's just one dude. Oh, no. Uh, Rad, I want you to move out here. And shoot him. M, you run away. M, run away. Shit. Come on, keep running. <laughs> Come on, shoot him. Thank you. Shoot him some more. Oh my god, this is pathetic. Shoot him. There we go. Alright, so we can capture him if we want to. Let's just make sure everybody is unrecruited. Alright, so what do you like? You're really good at social. You're steadfast and sanguine. Both are really good. You're really artistic. Yeah, we want you. You're 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 coming with us, pal. Where are we gonna set you up? Well, why don't we set you up in here for now? You're not going to like it too much, but there's not much we can do about that. So let's go furniture, sleeping spot. Set that up there. Set us for prisoners. And M... Oh yeah, M got hurt. How bad are you hurt? Oh, just a tiny cut. Uh, so Rad, you go ahead and capture him. We're going to unforbid the knife. M is going to go rest and Rad... Once you bring him back in, we want you to, uh, you know, go and heal up M. We're getting tons of potatoes, which is nice to see, so we'll have lots of food that way. Let's go ahead and bump things back up here. All right, Wong, prisoner, you're going to... Do we want to give you medicine? How about are you hurt? Um, we won't give you medicine until you, uh, um, until you develop an infection. You're good enough, though, that I will spend some medicine to do it. Chat and recruit. Rad, what are you doing? You're resting. I actually kind of need you to come treat Wong before he bleeds out here. Please and thank you. Alright, so that's got him all patched up there. So he's in a lot of pain, but he won't die. At least not right away. Uh, speaking of, how's M doing? Health-wise. She seems fine. Okay, so she's completely recovered. That's good. So we'll let things tick on. We'll have to mark some more trees to be cut down. So I think I'll do that right now. Orders, chop wood, all that. Uh, and I'm going to set up a stockpile here. Just for now. Somebody's in a poor mood. Why is M in a poor mood? Disturbed sleep, cramped environment, slept on the ground, feeling bad, sharing bedroom, ate off the ground, in darkness. Eh, again, not much I can do about any of that right now. Uh, what was I doing? Right, stockpile, stockpile, and this is just going to be for wooden planks. This is not going to be a permanent solution. This is just to make sure that we have, you know, them technically stored, so that way they'll stop making them once they are, you know, once they, once we have enough. And uh, now the question is, where is... It'd be under manufactured, right? Yes, wooden plank. So now that should... How many do we have? How many do we have now? 420, yeah. So that should stop these bills from going. Yeah, there it goes. Made up a few too many because I didn't think of, like, what they were going to do with it once they were actually done with it. We'll have to do the same thing down here, actually, for stone blocks. Storage, this is going to be clear all for raw resources, stone blocks. And one thing I do need to change, though, is to just drop it on the floor. 
Uh, and drop it on the floor. We'll set this up to hold sand as well, I guess. Storage. Sand. Where would sand be? Sand. There it is. There we go. That'll make things go a lot quicker there as well. And then we'll have to set up, like, a raw resources stockpile so that, like, our haulers can grab these and move them into a, you know, a bigger area of just raw resources. And th But this will prevent us from overcrafting, kind of like we did up here. In fact, actually, I think what I'm going to do... Architect, delete zone. We're going to just go like that. And then extend this out just a little bit. So that, that way it will catch anything that they drop. Because it can drop basically all the way around here, right? So, yeah, that'll work. That'll work fine. All right, guys. So that is the second episode of our Superior Crafting Let's Play in the can. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know I am. Uh, I, From my experiences so far, I'm absolutely loving this mod. And I hope you guys are kind of seeing the appeal as well. But either way, I hope you guys will join me for the next episode of RimWorld Superior Crafting. So long.